What is up? I am super pumped and excited about this video and to talk about the RJ Martin Q36. Okay, I have two of them here on the table. One of them is my personal knife that I carry quite often. And one is from my buddy Chris out in Texas. Chris has several RJ Martins now. And I believe Chris is the first time I actually got to handle an RJ Martin was when Chris sent me one previously. I understand why people have multiple RJ Martins. Everybody I know that has one has multiples. Except for me. I only own this one. It's the only one I own right now. I would like some others. And I did a full video on this, so I'm not going to go through all the specs in this video, but I will link the video I did on this guy up in the corner at the end. So you can go check out all the specs. It's basically a four inch bladed folder. Okay, this one is a frame lock. This one is a liner lock. This is the Q36 SS for super slim. This is the Q36 DI. And no, I don't know what the DI is for. But you can see here, and let's zoom in, it is much thicker. So the Super Slim or the SS that I own is kind of Sabenza-ish thin, if you will. Here it is next to a Spider-Go Delica. So it's very Delica Sabenza thin. Whereas the DI version on the far left is more average thickness um, of a knife. So here it is next to the Kubi KB237. You can see the kind of differences there. Here it is next to a Hellraiser from Red Horse Knife Works. And we'll show that a little bit later also to compare a couple things. I... Yeah, this particular one is fantastic. The detent on mine is really strong. Like, even with my fingers off of the lock bar, it's tough to get it from this angle. I can, but that hurt, you know, it's uncomfortable on my finger. So I turn it a little bit, I grab it by the meat of my finger, and it's much easier to do. Okay, this one of Chris's, as well as I think the other one he sent me with a carbo quartz, it was an SS with carbo quartz. That one is much lighter as well. This one I can do more traditional location, if you will. So I do like the detent way better than mine. I like the slimness of mine, but this carries great in the pocket also. We'll talk a little bit about its zirconium bolsters. Okay, let's just take a quick peek here, zoomed in. I'm just excited. They did such a great job. This one is a little bit less flashy of a blade, a little bit more stonewashed than mine. This one is S125V. Mine is MagnaCut. This one has zirconium bolsters, zirconium screw hardware, and a zirconium pocket clip. Now, the reason why I talk about the Hellraiser and why we're going to bring that out here is this also has zirconium bolsters. And you can see my fingerprint right there. Well, you can see my fingerprint up there now and over here. You can't really, you can't see my fingerprint over here because this is more of a blasted zirconium. I love the blasted zirconium because polished zirconium is a fingerprint magnet. Same on the clip. This is a zirconium pocket clip that's a fingerprint magnet. Zirconium pocket clip on the RJ Martin is not. 
So I really do appreciate that. Here it is, S125V. And the fit and finish on this is great. Chris carries this knife. It's a little crack in the desert, the desert ironwood. But it's still super solid. I don't think it goes all the way through. And it just looks great. There is some wear marks because Chris carries his knives. Carbon fiber backspacer. And a liner lock. So you don't have to worry about any kind of lock bar pressure or anything like that. Now, the lock bar ac access to the lock bar isn't really there because this isn't really cut out much. And you can see on a Hellraiser... There is a cutout here, so it's much easier to access the lock bar. On this one, it's not. And I have, on uh, two or three occasions, pinched my skin between the liner lock and the bolster. So you have to be a little bit... You just, you just have to kind of think about it when you go to unlock this depending on how you unlock knives. The action on this thing is great. Not drop shut, but nice and smooth. Okay, similar to mine. Little shake and it's down. You can see just there how there is such a difference in the finish of the blade. So I do carry this a lot because it feels great in the pocket. I love this one also because I have a thing for ironwood. I think it's a great material. And I love zirconium. This one weighs a little bit more than mine because of the thickness and the materials. The pocket clip does, from this angle, looks a little odd. Okay, because it kind of does swoop down and down. Mine does also, but it's not quite as pronounced as on this one. But it works fantastic in the pocket, in and out. It's great. These aren't cheap. Mine was about three grand. This one was about the same. So Chris, if you're bored with this one, let me know. And I will not include it in the box when I ship everything back to you and your daughter. Thank you again, Caroline, for loaning me your brown knives. It That thing is super awesome. If you haven't seen that video, please go check it out. It just came out a couple days ago. High school girl with her own knife collection. Awesome. I After I owned my first RJ Martin, I completely understand why everybody has multiples. Like, everybody I know has more than one, except for me. And there's somebody that's trying to get one of Chris's. Another friend of mine who has three or four and wants one of Chris's. So, yeah, it's a thing. I don't know. I get into that, too, though. I have a couple of custom Hellraisers. So I understand the fascination with Liking a maker, liking a model, and ending up with multiples of them. And RJ Martin is just one of those makers that you just feel as though you want to collect multiples of. And he does crazy stuff. He has some with Damascus blades, Sanmai blades, full Timascus uh, scales. Like he does amazing work. He is here in the United States. Um, I think I talk about where he is in this video. I don't recall off the top of my head now, but go check out this video. It'll be up here in the corner. Uh, maybe we'll have him on. He's on my list of guests on the EDC hour with Dirk and Alex. We'll probably try to have him on at some point because, well, that's what we do over there on that channel. And if you're not familiar with that channel, please go check it out up here in the other corner. Let me know your thoughts on these amazing, amazing knives. I would love to hear it. Have a great day.